There we go. Y'all should be able to hear me now. All right, so we're going to get everybody up, get everybody moving. Welcome to 1130. Heather Martin, I hope you don't get rained on. Outside. Oh, I got two people waiting here. What did they get kicked out there? Colleen, Amy Farrell. All right, we're going to start out with some good old-fashioned knee hugs in place. So just grab that knee, pull it up to the chest. We're going to alternate. We're going to go through that about 30 seconds, and we'll go through a few of those uh, as we get going. I'm going to sign Colleen in. I see that garage. Colleen, I better see some fresh new kicks on there once you get back in there. All right, we'll go to those toe grabs. Pull that leg up behind you and reach high for the ceiling. Get ready. Get a few more of those. What's up, Kay Whiteley? Pretty crazy freshman year of college for you. Crazy. All right, let's do that ankle knee grab. So grab the ankle and knee, tug it up towards the chest, get a little bit of rotation in those hips so we can get ready to move. There we go. I don't know if y'all want to see this, but we are, we're mad. we did not plan this at all. We're pretty close. We're pretty matching pretty well. It's two days in a row. Yep, two days in a row. Twinsing. All right, let's go into some one minute movements. So we have five movements that we're going to go through and we'll have one minute of each movement. So we're going to go into those uh, arms and front jacks. So let's get everybody's hands together out in front. Three, two, one, let's go. One minute straight, wide legs, wide arms. Christine and Kay, y'all can like high five in between every rep. Just figure out who's going to turn the hand which way. <laughs> when you come down horizontal, I was thinking like you could time it right. Boom. Oh, get some. <laughs> Keep going, we got 30 seconds left. You got a little lateral movement into it. Go side to side if you want to. Crank our music up here. I don't know where Colleen is, I'm not seeing her. Spirit. Get out there, get off that phone. There she is, I hope you got them kicks on. Yeah, there they are, new Reeboks. All right, folks, we're going to go down into a crab hold position and then go into some hip thrusts. So this is like a deep hip thrust, much deeper than we can get on our glute bridges usually. So Silas drops down, then drives up. Give it a good two-second pause every time you come up. Big squeeze in that backside. This should burn pretty good by the end of this minute. That's it. That's it. Oh, you better get him, Stephanie. Or tell him he's got to go faster than that. Got Chris Frost, got the puppy over there getting some kisses in. <laughs> Wonder anybody else, nobody else has anybody crawling underneath him yet. Keep going, folks. We'll go about 30 seconds longer on this one, and then we're going to hop back up into some high knees. But got plenty of time left on this one. I think Heather got pretty lucky not having any rain. That's pretty cool. Been crazy rainy. This didn't get any tornadoes or anything. All right, go and hop up right into high knees. Knees up, arms are pumping. Let's get it. All right. Everybody's looking good. Make sure we're moving those arms, get those shoulders loose, warmed up. I see you, Susan. That's it. That's it. Should be starting to breathe a little bit now. Hopefully, y'all got a good enough pace. Yes, you're breathing, breathing a little bit harder. Let's hit this guy up here. About 15 seconds. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop down into a plank. So you can go a high plank or a low plank down on those elbows. It is your choice, but we're gonna go one full minute starting right now if you can get there. There you go. If you, if you want to rotate between being on your hands and uh, your elbows, you can. Just wanna make sure you engage those glutes, squeeze them tight, squeeze those abs tight. You got it, you got it. Oh, tight, about just that 30 seconds. We got one movement left after this that we'll be rolling into. Once we get there, it's going to be prisoner squats. So you'll be, once we're done with this next 20 seconds, then you'll pop up, get those hands behind the head, elbows pulled back, and you'll go into a prisoner squat for a full minute, up and down, up and down. Keep holding that plank tight. Don't give up yet. Hold tight. All right, go ahead and pop up right into those prisoner squats. Let's go. Hop up. Hands behind the head, pull your elbows back, open that chest up, start squatting deep. As deep as you're able to go, sit on those heels, drive your knees out. We do have some squats coming up here shortly, so you wanna be ready for these. There you go. Stephanie, he's gonna be such an addition to your workout. It's gonna be very entertaining for me. You see him crawling up under her legs and stuff. Keep rolling, folks. Keep rolling. We have got 23 seconds left on this warm-up. <laughs> That's wonderful. Get a few more. See so if you can get about five more. Crank them out. Like go a little faster. All right. Go ahead and join me up at your computer screen. And get you rolling right into this. So we have four exercises we're going to go through for eight minutes. So during this uh, eight minute, you can do this with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, or we do have body weight options. I do believe that everybody on here has some weights. So we're going to demonstrate all these with a kettlebell, and then we'll demonstrate all of these with a dumbbell. So the first one is our goblet squat for 10 reps. So remember on this, we're going to tuck those elbows in and down. And every time you squat, we would love to see those elbows touch your knees or right on top of your thighs or even in between your thighs slightly so that we can make sure we're getting good depth and getting a mobility um, benefit to this movement. So 10 squats. Then we're going into 10 Russian swings. So we'll drop down, hike it back. Just make sure you're really pushing that butt way back and let that chest come down. So this is completely hip dominant. And when you get done with 10 of these, then you're going to go all the way overhead into that American swing. And if you can, roll straight into that for 10 reps. Notice his elbows bend on the way up and his arms finish just behind or right beside his ears. Then he's going to put that down. He's going to pick up his jump rope and go right into jump. So you can go 30 single unders if you're doing the jump rope. If not, you're going to go 30 reps on our penguin hops. So when you come off the ground, Tap those legs. If you can do a double tap while you're in the air, you've only got to do 15. So you actually get to cut the reps in half. But I promise, you see how he kind of, like, that's actually pretty tough to do the double taps, I promise. So that is, everything's 10 reps and then 30 on the jumps at the end. It's eight minutes, as many rounds as you can get in. If you're using a dumbbell, pay attention. Silas is going to demonstrate with a dumbbell. So we hold it vertically and we would hold what would be like the head of the dumbbell for our goblet squats. Everything else is the same position. So it'd be 10 reps there. When we go into our Russian swing, we're gonna hold the head of the dumbbell and everything else applies, still shooting that butt back, coming all the way up tall at the end and letting it swing out. When you wanna go overhead, go ahead and grab the handle of the bell. Don't go overhead holding the, the head of it because you just won't have as much control. So you can still swing down, all the same rules apply at the bottom of that, and then you're going overhead in a much safer way than you would by holding just the top. All right, if anybody needs any modifications on the hopping, if that doesn't work for you for some reason, we can do something different there. Just throw it in those comments. Otherwise, I'm gonna give you all about 10 seconds and we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna crank our music up here. Oh, come on now. That's it. I think that's T.I.? So this is eight minutes. Everything's 10 reps, and I'll you know remind you of it several times as we're going through. 
We're going to get going here in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I want to see everybody squatting deep. Everybody squatting deep. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. See you, Dave Whiteley, with that 55. Atta boy. All right, we got squats on squats on squats. Let's go. Actually, I only got to do 10. Remember, I'm going to challenge you all to try to get down to where those elbows touch the knees throughout that set every time, dropping down nice and deep. That's it. Once you get done with those, you're into 10 kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings. Remember, there's not much knee bending on the swings. You want to shoot that butt back. So your knees should almost be straight on a kettlebell swing. You got it. Go 10 swings to chest height and then 10 overhead. So you might bend your knees a little bit more on the overhead swings. It really depends on your technique, but you are going to break those elbows on the way up. Got to bend them. I like the double dumbbells, Chris Frost. There's another way to do that. You can do it outside your stance. If you stand more narrow when you do those as well, you can just see which one of those uh, works a little bit better for you. So unless you're getting two taps all the way in the air, we got 30 reps on those hops. There you go, Dave Whiteley. That's it, buddy. Good control. Silas just whipped himself. I told you it's the turf. They weren't. I couldn't make them half on the turf for a very long time. I could kill them on the rubber. There you go. So then you're right back into 10 squats, 10 swings, 10 American swings, and then into your jumps. I only did like 20 there. With dubs, you going 30? Hit him up, hit him up. Come on, let's see some elbows touch the knees on those squats. You got it, you got it, let's go now. Swings are looking solid, folks. Remember, when you swing, I want you to try to push that butt back like you're reaching for the wall behind you. Oh, yeah. Good job, Christine Whiteley. I see you. Keep it up. Farrell's got some solid-looking swings. You too, Colleen. Let's keep rocking. Remember, everything's 10 reps. Until you get to those jumps, you're going for 30. Hopefully, you don't get too much rest transitioning to that jump rope. There you go, Heather. That's it. Good work. Killing it, folks. Killing it. Let's keep rolling. Good job, Susan. Remember to bend your elbows on the way up with that one. Bend them. Like, pull it up the front of your body like you were going to take a shirt off. There you go. Key here is nobody needs to let their kettlebells go. We don't want any broken windows. Silas is getting tired. Let's go, buddy. Got to represent the gray and the blue. Good job, Susan. I like that. Come on, come on. Keep pushing, folks. You're about halfway through. Stephanie, I'm digging out. He's putting that roller behind you. It makes you reach your hips back for something. There you go. Nope, not like that. <laughs> come on, folks. Come on now. You got it. Chris Frost, I like where you got those dumbbells. A lot of times that works better if we're using two. It's really up to you. If y'all notice how Silas has flipped his kettlebell over and he's holding it by the ball of the bell for his squats, that tends to lend itself a little bit better for some of the uh, heavier weights if you've got a heavier weight. It gets a little bit easier to hold. Good jumps, Rob. Good jumps, buddy. There you go, Heather. Keep rocking. Got it, Colleen. Let's work them Reeboks in. Remember, we want to see the hands touch when your feet are in the air on those uh, jumps, on the penguin hops. Good 
Yeah, let's go. Keep it up now. Keep it up. Swings are looking solid, Susan. Everybody remember on the swings, you keep it as tight to that groin as you can when you come down. If you had it let loose, it would hit you in the butt as it comes through. There you go, Heather. You got that. Come on, let's rock. Let's rock right into those swings. Beautiful. Everybody's working hard. Let's keep it up. Good job, Colleen. Digging that run in place, Susan. Good job. Good modification. It's a nice, heavy-looking dumbbell you got there, Dave Whiteley. Let's keep it up, buddy. That's it. That's it. Come on. Hey, we got two minutes left on this. Y'all got to push, push, push. Let's go. Let's get it now. Don't slow down too much. Try to grind out two minutes worth. Everybody should be get at least what's equal to about one full round in in two minutes. You got it. You got it. Come on now. Keep rocking. Oh, Stephanie lost the kid. He's gone. Come on, folks. Come on now. Come on now. Trying to move consistently throughout this whole set. You can do it. Minute and a half. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody's moving solid. Let's try to keep this going. You have one minute left. One minute, we got to crank through it. We'll challenge Silas. He's got about eight American swings left. He's got to hit those double unders before this minute is up. Let's see. Heather's on those Russian swings. I think you can get one full round in by the end of this minute. That a girl. Let's push. Colleen, too, you're on the overheads. Susan's overhead. You got the ferals on the jumps. Keep it up. Dave Whiteley, we'll get through those squats and probably through your swings. We've got about 40 seconds left. Keep going, folks. Keep going. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Let's get 20 seconds. Silas, you going to keep jumping? 20 seconds? Yeah. Keep jumping. Hit them dubs. Get to 100. Got it, Heather Martin. You got just a few seconds. Come on. You got it. Yeah. Good job. Come on. You can get about a couple more squats in. Got it, Susan. Come on, man. Get a couple squats. There you go. Jump. All right. Rest. We'll get about a two-minute break. Catch your breath and be ready to move into that core work. We got some core work. And then we got a little more cardio. It's going to be a good day. Pump. Silas is taking you all up a notch, trying to get you all those yellow MEPs for this MEP challenge we got. Good work. Good work. Good work. You will need some form of weight for this next part if you are well-versed in sit-ups. If sit-ups do not work for you uh, with back pain or anything like that, feel free to let me know. I can give you a modification. Um, we'll probably do a pull-through with that dumb – well, no, nah, because you're going to go to a plank on that. We'll do some kind of hollow thing, variation. But let me know. Give you all about another 30 seconds or so, and I'll go ahead and start explaining that next part of the workout. Yeah. Cleaning the hair off. Got me going. All right. Looks like everybody's ready. So we are going to move into our next eight minute AMRAP. This is all focused on core work. So it's just two movements, but you're going to do the first one on the right and the second one on the right, and then you go back and do the first one on the left, and then the second one on the left. This will be at your own pace, and again, everything is 10 reps each. Um, I'd love to see everybody get four rounds of this in. It's going to burn those abs up, but your shoulders and your 
triceps are going to get tired as well. So be prepared for that. First one is a sit up with that dumbbell in the, we'll start right, right hand. So you're going to go up and try to get tall as you go up. So the key here is to minimize how much that dumbbell falls forward as you come up. And I'll be completely honest, like Silas is doing that with a 15. I did it with a 15. If you're doing these correctly, they're very, very, very challenging. If you're letting that dumbbell fall forward and help you up, then you're probably going to be able to use something pretty heavy because you're actually using that dumbbell to your advantage. So Silas is going to show you what it looks like correct, where he, he, that dumbbell went pretty much went straight up into the air as if someone was grabbing him by the hand and lifting him up. The wrong way to do it is as you go up, is like you're going to swing it forward. See how fast and easy he came up? That is not what we're going for. That negates the purpose of adding a weight to the movement. So if you're not able to go straight up, Chris Frost, that was solid right there. If you're not able to go straight up, um, just don't use a weight. Just hold one arm up in the air, and we can go through this body weight for 10 reps. Um, with your legs, it's up to you what you want to do. You can lay them out long and wide. Sometimes that's more comfortable for people's hips. Or you can try and make it a little more difficult, bring the bottoms of the feet together, and go into that feet together sit-up variation. That one's definitely tougher because it puts a greater load on your abs and takes those quads out of the equation. So 10 reps with the right arm up. Then we're going to flip over into a uh, – you can start high or you can start low. But we're going to go into uh, – start low and we're going to go up and then back down. So he's going to go 10 straight on the same arm he just did his sit-ups on. So if you start with the right arm on the sit-ups, then you're going to go all right arm on that plank up and down. Then you're going to go back to your back and you'd go left arm with the sit-ups for 10 reps and then back over to the plank and go left arm up and down for 10 reps. So everything is 10 reps, four movements technically. We're going to go through that for eight minutes. If anybody needs any modifications, get them in those comments. If not, I'm going to get this clock ready to roll. Ready to roll. Crank up the music. Wake it up on this bad weather day. Get ready in five seconds. We are going 10 reps, single arm sit-ups, and go. Let's hit it. There we go. There we go. Rob looking solid. Maeve looking solid. Dave, I like the bicycle crunches you got going. See them black Reeboks? Looks like Reeboks in the blur. There you go. I see what looks like Kay's hand coming up there. Could be Christine. Heather, you're looking good. Remember now, if you're doing this right, it's going to be a light weight, I'm telling you. You got to reach that weight straight up towards the sky. Y'all, really, I'm, I'm really impressed with this group so far. Everybody's looking solid. So same arm when you go to that plank up and down. Same arm. You got it. You got it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Once you get done with 10 on that plank up and down, go back into those sit-ups with the opposite side. I found it worked out better for me if I went super fast. Either. Yeah, because yeah, then I was just done. <laughs> yeah, it's your triceps get smoked. Chris Frost, you're crushing those sit-ups. Keep it up. Way to get tall through that. Stephanie, you look good on that too. That boy, Rob. That a boy. That's it. Heather, you got them going well. Sit-ups look smooth. You're doing a good job with that dumbbell. Just try to minimize how far forward it goes for everybody. You're trying to glide your ear by your shoulder the whole way. That's it. Once you get 10 on that arm, and then you're going to flip it back over, and it's that plank up and down, 10 on that arm. Same arm as you were just sitting up with. Remember, you got to control those hips. We don't want to see those hips rocking side to side. It matters. It matters, I promise. That's where the abdominal challenge comes in, coordinating those abs with the hips. Got to keep those feet probably a little bit wider than your hips so you get some lateral stability out of that. Silas is already dead. I was dead at that point as well. Because it's hard. <laughs> Let's 
Keep it going. Come on. Yeah, Rob. Keep it up, buddy. I see you, Maeve. If you guys get going fast in these up downs, just remember we're trying to control the hips. The wind just kicked back up here. That's nuts. Come on, folks. Come on, folks. Keep it going. Keep it going. You got this. Everybody's looking good. We're already about four minutes in, so you're halfway. Hopefully, you've gotten through getting close to two full rounds. I think Silas is in round two. Yeah. I think I barely got in the four. Barely got four done. Come on, great job, everybody. You got this, hold tight. We're ready, we're ready. I know those abs are burning. Making them stronger, making them stronger. Keep it up. Oh, let's go, let's go. You got it. Come on, Sutherland, you got it. You gotta sit up with little man up in the air. <laughs> Got that Dave White Lee. Let's keep it up, buddy. Control those hips. Then we want that coordination through that midsection. Got it, Rob Farrell. Come on, grind it out, buddy. There you go. There you go. I know what it feels like. I did it at 8.30. My arm got really tired holding that up, and my abs were definitely tired. Hope you all are jamming to some good music. We're jamming out over here. Keep grinding, folks. Got like two and a half minutes left. Love to see another full round in there for everybody. Got it, Colleen. Remember, if we're using that kettlebell, we want you to lock that wrist in straight. That a girl, that's perfect. And you can play around with where you put your hand on that handle, but we definitely want to try to keep that wrist straight. Got this. Come on now. Good work, Heather. Good work. Let's keep grinding. Looks like you got a little bit of sunlight maybe coming through. That worked out. Yeah. Get some vitamin D. Soak it up. Got it, Maeve. Keep going, girl. Keep going. Susan, I can't see you, but I bet you're doing great. Keep it up. That's smooth, Chris Frost. Looking smooth. Keep going, folks. Keep going. You got this. You got this. Come on. We got one minute, 15 seconds. So really right at that one minute mark. Hope you're getting close to four rounds. I know it's tough. You got this. Woo. That's it. That's it. Guess what? We have a whole other eight minute section after this. It's going to be an awesome day. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, Coach Silas. Let's go now. All right, folks, we got 30 seconds. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Don't stop. Don't stop. Get a few more. Come on. 
Get a few more. You got it. Oh, yeah. 13 seconds. Don't stop early. Don't stop early. You can do this. There you go, Dave Whiteley. Go, Chris Frost. Go, Chris Frost. All right, rest. I'll give you all about one minute to rest, and then we're going to get into the last part. Great stuff, great stuff. That thing's blowing like crazy up there. All right, so to finish up, all you're going to need is that agility square that we loaned out, or you can draw a four square item or a two square item on the floor. You can tape it on the floor, you can use chalk, or you can use nothing and just do this with body weight. So it all works, but we like the agility squares. We think they're more fun. So get this thing ready here and we'll get some cool videos of Silas. Um, we're gonna start out, we have four movements we're gonna go through and we're gonna go through this again for eight minutes, but our timing format on this is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So it's really not much rest at all. You'll go hard for 20 seconds, rest 10, hard for 20 seconds, rest 10, and it'll be 16 rounds of that. So it's a good one, um, but it is still relatively quick. So the first one is what we call the icky shuffle. If we had an agility ladder, this would be that one, two, one. So we're going all the way across. So it's really like one, two, one, two, one. And you can see Silas, one, two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, or you can say one, two, three, four, one. Either way, he's just hitting each square going all the way across. His heels never touch the ground. He stays on the toes and the balls of the feet. So, oh, that'll work right there. Um, Stephanie Southern, that'll work. That's cool. So, um, after that one, you're going to rest for 10 seconds. Then we're going to go into our Superman split hops. So, notice he has one foot in a box and the other hand, the opposite hand, in a box. We want everybody to touch the ground every rep on this and try your best to put your back knee on the ground as well. So he's going to jump, come up, drive that back knee forward and then go to a light hop. This is going to burn terribly. You're going to love every second of it. I promise. So we go 20 seconds on that side and then he would switch, put his foot in the opposite box, his other hand in the opposite box of where it was last time. And then it's just a hop. That's it. Christine Whiteley, just like that. But if we can, we, you can, it helps me to balance to put my hand on the ground as I go down but it also forces everybody to get low. And we want y'all to get low as well. Plus, you look like Supergirl or Superman as you're taking off, which is always really cool. Um, then we're going to go into lateral two-foot hops. So now he's going to come back up onto his toes, and he's going to go super quick through that uh, square as he goes across. So every time he hits, boom, 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 staying on his toes and the balls of his feet. So if that, if that last one, if, it's, um, if you need to get rid of the jumping, if that doesn't work for you, just go back to what we started with with that icky shuffle where you do two feet in each one. All right. Um, we're going to get y'all going now. So we're going to get going in 10 seconds. Make sure you got something set up to give you a gauge. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's get ready. And three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. Keep it up. Come on. Good job, folks. Good job. Get a few more. A few more. You got five seconds on that. One, two, three, four, one. Every time. All right, rest. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so we're going to move into our Superman takeoffs or hops. And go. Drop down, touch. Come right back up. Drop down and touch. Come right back up. We're halfway. I know those quads are burning. We're going to keep them burning. Let's go. Let's go. There you go, Maeve. You got it. All right, rest. We're going to switch sides. Switch sides. Get ready. And go. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on now, you got this, you got this. I know it's burning, you gotta let it burn. 
Go, Maeve. Go, Maeve. You got it. Come on. Yeah, Heather. All right, rest. Rest, guys. All right, so we're moving uh, back into our lateral two-foot hops now. Two feet, two feet, two feet. The whole way. On your toes. Three, two, one, go. Boom, boom, boom. Right back. Good job. That's it. Got it, Chris Frost. Come on. See if you can go continuously. Challenge yourself. Keep your heels off the ground. That's a good work, Susan. Keep rocking. You got it. Rest. All right, now we're going back to where we started with the icky shuffle, the one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. Those legs should be burning. You should be breathing a little harder. Three, two, one, go. 20 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Get it going. Good work. Good work. Good work. Keep grinding. Good job, Maeve. I see you hitting that square. Two feet every square every time. Good job, Colleen. I think Colleen had a ladder, agility ladder taken out. Rest. All right, let's get ready for those Superman hops. One foot in a square, one hand in a square, touching the ground every rep. Go! These are great. Every time you come up, you can say, great! <laughs> Come on, push the pace, guys. Push the pace. There you go. Heather, looking good. Colleen, you got that. Looking good. Couple more, couple more. Switch sides. Great job. Five seconds, folks. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Many as you can. That's it. That's it. Five seconds now. Five seconds. Turn it on. Turn it on. You got it. I know it's burning. I about died in these every time I did them. Rest. All right, let's get ready for our uh, two lateral two-foot hops. Two feet in each square, two feet out. On the toes the whole time. Three, two, one. Get it. Go, 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 go. Looking fast, Christine Whiteley. Keep it up. That's it, Stephanie. Come on, let's get you on them toes. We'll stay there for the whole set. Good work, Chris Frost. Rest. All right, that's twice. Two times left. Going back to what we started with, the icky shuffle. In three, two, one, go. Come on now. Come on now. Let's roll. Let's rock. Killing it, guys. Killing it. Got some good fast feet in this group. That's what we're going for. A couple more. All right, rest. Getting ready for those Superman hops. One foot in, one hand in. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Go, go, go. Let's see some big takeoffs this set. There you go, Stephanie Sutherland. You got it. I challenge y'all to try to touch that ground every time if you can. Most of your weight's on that front leg. So you got to keep your back heel off the ground. Back heel off the ground. If that back heel stays down, it's going to hurt your knees. Rest. Switch sides. If any of y'all are having a problem with balance, take your stance a little bit wider. It doesn't need to be super narrow. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Come on, we got it. We got it. Got the dog helping you out, Rob. <laughs> Come on, get a couple more. Rest. All right, we're getting ready for those two leg, two foot hops. All right, let's go. All the way across now, all the way across. You can do this. Keep it up. Oh, yeah, eight seconds. Fast, be fast. Deliberate with your movements. Push the pace. Challenge yourself. Rest. All right, last time through, back to our icky shuffle. Three, two, one, let's get it. Oh, everybody's looking good. Ten seconds, come on now. 
Beautiful. Keep going. A couple more. Rest. All right. Last time we're going through these hops on both sides. Get ready. Three seconds. Two. One. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hit it hard. Hit it hard and fast. Come on. Dude, I haven't heard this group in like since high school. This group, um, forgot what they're called. Rest. All right, last time on this other side. Let's get it going. Last set of Superman hops. You got to push that pace. Three, two, one, go. Come on, go, go. Pick it up. Pick it up. You got this. Faster than last time. Got to go faster than last time. You're done with these after this. You got that. Come on, keep it up. What you do now dictates how hard your next set is, even with a small movement, how much value you get out of that small movement. Three seconds, get a couple more. Go, Colleen, you got it. Rest. All right, here we go. Two leg hops, in, in, out, in, in, out. Last set, three, two, one, and go. Hop, 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 let's get it. Beautiful. See how quickly you can hop from one square to the next. Pop, 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 out. There we go. Come on, go, go. You got it. It's your last set today, folks. Five seconds. Be fast on those feet. All right, rest. We're gonna drop you right on down into a hurdler stretch. Feel free to grab your water, keep it with you. We're gonna go one leg behind you, one leg out in front. We're gonna get a full 30 second stretch on each side on this one. So remember one leg in front, this long. Take a look at Silas, this is the hurdler stretch. We want you to grab your toes. All right, let's reach and grab and hold. There you go, Chris, you got it. I guess it is like the same, it's just slightly different. Come on, find some toes, reach forward, breathe. Lean forward, big stretch. Keep holding, we're gonna go a couple seconds longer. All right, go ahead and switch sides. And breathe, hold that stretch. We got 30 seconds on that one. Keep holding, keep holding. All right, we're gonna go into that child's pose. Knees on the ground, sink back into those hips. Try to elongate your spine a little bit. And lean, just lean, walk those hands out. Yeah, this dude was in a group called uh... Mischief. And he did a lot of solo stuff. What about um? Funky Homo sapien. He sounds just like this guy from that group, the Gorillas or something. Oh yeah, that's actually a white dude. That's a different but person. Yeah, actually, no, he's uh, he's on a couple of the Gorilla songs. That's what. I, yeah, there's multiple guys in the Gorillas, and um, he had to have been one of them. It's actually right. just one guy, and he gets a bunch of other. Let's walk your hands to the left. Stretch that right arm from armpit to rib cage. Well, that one dude, uh, that's Ice Cube's uh, like cousin or something. The guy with the voice? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sounds like a big dude. That dude's small. All right, let's go to the other side. Last one today. Yeah. All right, folks, that is it for today. I'm going to go ahead and unmute everybody as long as it doesn't sound too crazy. Stop this recording.